Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a quick little video that is uh, the kind of painting that I've been doing several of. I've been making a bunch of 5x7s of this painting and this is a 8x10 version of it. I am part of a collective, I've mentioned it in previous videos, and in that collective we all keep stock basically in a storefront all the time. And I wanted some stuff that I could keep in stock, original artwork that I could keep in stock basically. It is of two birch trees. All of them is, all of them are two birch trees and I really, I was really inspired to just do something kind of, it's not really abstract, but it is abstract in the methods that I do it. But I guess really it's more impressionistic or something, whatever. But here you see I'm dropping, I've slowed this part down to only two times as fast so that you can see the spreading of the ink that I'm dropping. I just spread water all over the paper and I'm strategically dropping ink so that it makes these really cool, you know, abstract wet on wet shapes. I really love those. That you saw it all look moving kind of weird right there. That was um that was me blowing on it. I'm at my drafting table in this video and it is tilted. So it was the first painting I'd actually done at my drafting table and I completely forgot that tilting would affect how the water fell. So I lifted it up and I'm at this point I'm actually just holding it up flat to be completely flat so that the ink sits where I want it to. And I pull the ink around to get it to where I want it to be. I laid the water on the paper pretty thick so that it's staying wet for all of this. And it's really cool because whenever you, you can do this with ink or you can do it with watercolors. It's a very popular watercolor technique. But the cool thing about it is that when it starts to spread, it looks sometimes like it's not going to spread far enough for your liking. But it does. It always spreads farther than you think it will after sitting for a minute. So basically, these ink splots make up the leaf area of the trees, but the trees don't have leaves. They're winter trees. They're naked and leafless. But the shape implies that I only put, I only put the ink up where the leaves would be. So, yeah, I slowed it down to two times as fast for this part, so you could see it's kind of relaxing. It's relaxing to do and I think it's relaxing to watch. So I wanted to slow it down a little bit so you guys could really see it and get a feel for what was happening. And then after that I will go into details on the trunks and that's pretty much it. You can see on the trunks there that there's that yellowish stuff and you can kind of see it really at the bottom where the ink is not yet. Uh, that's masking fluid to make sure that the negative space remains where the trees are. It's a very easy and very effective technique that I really enjoy using. So as soon as I'm done with the dropping of the ink on here, I will remove the masking fluid with a rubber cement pickup or an adhesive eraser. You can call it either way, either thing. It's, we call it a rubber, a rubber cement pickup in college because that's the only thing we used it for. We used it to pick up rubber cement off of the edges of adhered pieces. And here we go, picking up the rubber cement, I mean, the <laughs> no, not, picking up the masking fluid with my pickup and then I will go in and you can see I just pulled up where there were supposed to be rocks. At the bottom, I just wasn't thinking. I obviously know I don't put ink down there, so I don't know why I put rocks down there. And now it's free-handed for the rest of the video. So real quick, I'm gonna update you guys on life things and illustration things. I'm really sorry I've been kind of out of commission right now because I have been totally swamped with real life commissions. Christmas really is the most wonderful time of the year. But basically, I have been receiving commission after commission after commission. People were commissioning me for Christmas cards. I had 
a special on pet portraits. So a lot of people were wanting me to do pet portraits and some of them turn those into Christmas cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm still not finished with all of them, but this video was really quick, really simple. So I wanted to go ahead and put it up, give you guys something. I'm going to be at my collective today, just working on commissions all day. I may vlog while I'm out, show you guys kind of a, a day in the life kind of deal, but yeah, it's really exciting because, you know, getting work is exciting. It's good. It's good to get work. It's good to get paid. It's good to get your name out there and to kind of develop a client base. It's, it's awesome. Mostly been doing pet portraits, which are fun. So yeah, keep an eye on me on social media if you want to see posts because I always in my contract for commissioned work, I always put that um, there's a clause that I can always post commissioned work to social media and stuff. So keep an eye up there to keep updated on stuff. Because as soon as I'm, I don't post a lot of process pics of commission work, but I do post uh, finals of commissions after I have delivered them. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box below. I've also just updated my website to include some more information and some more pieces of work, like on my portfolio page and stuff like that. So yeah, I also have a Facebook page and stuff, but you know, it's not, it's not my main thing. Instagram's my main thing. So follow me there if you want the most in-depth information. And there I am finishing up the shadows and that is pretty much gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.